Warning, the following show contains strong language as well as heavily opinionated thoughts. If you're easily offended or cannot handle the opinions of others, you should close this video now. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of That Video Game Show. I'm Nick Ivancho. I'm Steven Ivancho. And today we're going to be playing Slender, The Arrival, on the Xbox 360. Is this game scary? It's not as scary as Outlast, but it is pretty scary. Yeah, Outlast was pretty scary. Yeah, Outlast is pretty good. If you guys haven't played Outlast, you should play Outlast. It's really cool. Alright, but enough about Outlast. We're going to play Slender. That almost scared me just then. It almost scared you? Yeah. You can you can skip this. Oh, you know. okay. So unlike previous recordings, we're actually doing this as we play the game. So if we mess up, we mess up. And yeah, it's going to be super awesome. So we're going to be playing a little bit further into the game because we got to a part in the game where we just couldn't figure out what the hell to do. So we figured you guys could experience our frustration. Yeah, because that stuff's stupid. I hate... I hate when, um, you know, you're playing a game and you just can't find out where to go. Yeah. That happened a lot in Outlast. Yeah, but it, I don't think it was ever this bad. Yeah. Did you ever play Daylight? I think that's what, that's what it was, or Dying Light or something like no, that. No, Dying Light is the sequel oh, yeah, 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 thing yeah. to Dead Island, but... I'm talking about the PlayStation Network one. Yeah, yeah, we played it together. Yeah. That one, whew. It was pretty... It, it, was, it was fun when you actually knew what to do. Yeah. I just got the chills. The date is September 19th. So a little backstory on what happened is our character, she's like watching a VHS tape right now, and it's of a recording camera. So this is all like kind of Didn't it already happened. I don't have a flashlight. No, you don't have a flashlight. Man. This is really hard to see. Very right, closer. Hope that doesn't bother you. <laughs> so it took us a while just to figure out where the fuck that chain was. No, we were, I just did my first try. Yeah, yeah. But um, this game, it was developed by Blue Isle Studios, as you've seen in the intro. Graphics are pretty good. I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah, they kind of look like a PlayStation 2 game. I don't know. I, I think they look pretty good, but go on. Yeah, it was published by Midnight City... Just for the consoles, and it was published, I think, by Blue Isle. The generator is out of fuel. <laughs> Gotta go find some fuel, people. Um, this game is actually a sequel to Slender Man, The Eight Pages. Really? Yeah, I remember, yeah, you were talking about it, like, if it was the one that Conan O'Brien was playing. Oh, yeah, Conan. I think that's what he was playing a year ago. But yeah, this game was first released on the PC. Who, who walks like this? I don't know. That is a really good wobbly, question. Wobbly, wobbly, wobble, wobble. Okay, we got cellar, chapel, and... What the fuck does that even say? I don't know. Well, just get away from it before we look even stupider not knowing what it says. Okay. Man, <laughs> these controls are pretty difficult. I never really realized how bad they were. You, you, know, only, like if, you only really go one direction. And yeah, you, but, like, if you, like, want to turn or something, you got to look. I don't know. I think it's pretty It's good. not as fluid. I know what you're talking about. Um, Wasn't there a cellar? Yeah, it's to your there? left. There it is. Going downstairs, people. Wow, now I really can't see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get... I should probably turn that on. Was that the lights? Yeah. Oh, there we go. I hope yeah. nobody out there is prone to seizures. There was a warning in the beginning of the game, but I think we skipped it. Sorry. Oh, shit. I can't wait for it to, like, pop up right in your face. I know. I'm, like, standing really close to... Oh, shit. Where'd it go? This reminds me of, uh... What was that, like, 13 aliens or a ghost or something? <laughs> wait, what was that? <laughs> it was 13 ghosts. Yeah. 
Got a book. Yeah, you did. Now we gotta I'm find some guys. Oh shit! Damn, dude. That shit got me. <laughs> I'm waiting for the light to turn on. It's like right in front of your face. Dude, I already jumped. Is that something down there? No, that's a... Are you sure? Yeah, that's a bookcase. That's a little oh, stand yeah. thing. Oh. There got go. it. Gas. Canister is added to your inventory. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Excuse my language. Oh, oh crap. Oh, shit. Um, isn't that the way I gotta go? Uh, yeah, I think so. Is there anything in here? I don't think so. So this game costs about 10 bucks on PSN and Xbox Live. And it just recently came out, September 23rd, 2014. Man. Now, like I was saying before, it was originally released on the PC and on Steam. And that was released on March 26, 2013. Oh, and then, yeah. yeah, then it came out on Steam October 28th, close to Halloween of last year. Inside this game, it has six chapters, one secret level, and technically three endings. There's the original... Three end endings? Yeah. To this game? To this game. Wow. That is a lot. <laughs> yeah, but let me explain. Okay. So there's the original ending. Now, if you beat this game, it unlocks a more difficult setting. Now, I don't know if this is in the actual Xbox or PlayStation versions. Is it harder or is it scarier? I think it just becomes harder. That's what it said online. And then there was a Steam version which had an extended ending. Okay. All wheat and barley should be stored in a sub trimmer cellar for cold storage. Is that something down there? No. So what happened when you put the gas in there? Oh, these lights turned on so I can come in here. Now I'm going to get scared because I've never Yeah, we've never been in here before. Is that something there? That's a piece of paper. That I can't get to. Can't get to it. Okay, so I'm going in this extremely dark place wait turn around why because there's an arrow oh okay sweet or oh that's a that's a slender man and that's dark okay shit um, this is yeah you gotta go back there I'm going this way man I really hope something doesn't pop out at me again because I already screamed like a little girl well I didn't scream but Hear those background noises? I know, dude. I'm just Go afraid. Get the paper. Get the paper. I'm just afraid that like it's gonna be like a child. What I tell you? <laughs> that kind of looks like how you draw. It's Kenny's drawings. What does that say? Oh, the item is added to your scrapbook. All right. So now we're really going places now. Yeah. If we're further than we couldn't find the gas can before. I no, guess we, we didn't know we were supposed to. Yeah, go. we didn't know we were supposed to find it. Oh, look at that little tree house. That's pretty cool. I wonder if I can get up there. Dude, I don't even... Wait. Nah. That would have been cool, though. Alright. It's kind of hard, but... Alright, so let's talk about where Slenderman came from. Yeah, what is Slenderman? Okay, so Slenderman, it was based off of uh, Something Awful's forum. And that's where it was created. And it was created by Eric Cutson. And okay. his screen name on there was Victor Surge. And it was, and he came up with the idea for Slender Man, June eighth, two thousand nine. Now all this crap is taken exactly from Wiki. Why so, can't I get this key? Because you're not looking at it, right? Got it. Picked up the. Oh, I got the gate key. Oh man, I gotta go back through there, don't I? Yeah. But okay, so he created this, but then after he created it, people started finding references. Looks yeah. Like. yeah, I can't read that. Yeah, it just looks like a family picture. Yeah. But check this. People find it, started finding historic references to Slender Man in Brazilian cave paintings, Egyptian hieroglyphs, German wood cuttings, and Roman and English mythologies. What? Yeah. So they're saying that like Slender Man has been around forever. But the most fucked up thing about Slender Man was the fact that on May 31st of this year... I want to go in here. We can go in there. No, I'm scared. I'm not going in there. People, right. if you want to go in there, you just got to play the game yourself. Of course, it's got to get dark. I love that, Al. All right, check this. On May 31st of this year, two 12-year-old girls in uh, in Waukesha, Wisconsin, 
uh-huh. allegedly held down and stabbed a 12-year-old classmate 19 times. What? And they claimed that they did it because they wanted to become a proxy of Slenderman. Isn't that fucked up? Yeah. Did what the? This game is just getting like too out of control right now. Like, I better not become that twelve-year-old girl. <laughs> oh yeah, and on February eighteenth, twenty thirteen, they released a Slender Man movie. Nuh uh. Yes. Is it on Netflix? Dude, I don't think anybody's ever seen this movie. I've never seen any advertisements for it or anything, and apparently it's garbage, but I think I might have to track it down to find it. Yeah. I just cannot believe that, like, people have murdered in the name of Slender Man. I mean, you know. I mean, I, I still don't even really know what he is. Every time I see him, he kind of looks like the guy from, um. Oh shit! Oh my god, dude, that fucking got me. <laughs> Holy shit! Damn, dude. I oh. would try to I'd try to read this, but I'm not gonna. Okay, we'll just sit here for a few seconds while we calm down our hearts. <laughs> Hold on. I, what did I tell you, dude? I seek only salvation for myself and my family from the demon sent to torment my life. I brought the devil's wrath upon my family. I did this. I went searching for this demon. I brought him into our lives. I re I, I, don't, I think that's invoked his arrival. I could have been so blind as to manifest such evil. Why could I not let old legends die? I alone should bear this burden. Why must my grandchildren suffer from my imperdescence? I don't know. I can't read that word. They will never come home. That, what the fuck is that word? Like, it looks like two words combined. That yeah. arc friend has them now. Uh, we all must bear this burden. We must all report for our in ignorance and rid this world from this demon for good. None ever shall confront this evil ever again. It dies with us. May the force be with you. May the fire cleanse our souls and burn our sins. Man, that got Fred me, dude. Matheson. That really got me. Yeah, it did. Whew. I don't know if I should have really read all that, but I did. Dude, look at the baby. That's not dude, a real we picked baby. Up the, picked up all that stuff. One, oh, shit. That's I wonder if that was that baby. I'm, I'm really... <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Fuck. Should I move? I don't know. Wow, you died. I guess I shouldn't have picked up that baby. I guess you shouldn't have stood there like a moron. Well, I didn't know what to do, man. God, this game is really getting me. Yeah, it did. So now the part everybody wants to know. The reviews for Slender Man. Yeah. So it did get mixed reviews, but it was praised for the soundtrack, the atmosphere. What soundtrack? I guess the weird noises that you hear sometimes. All right, we're not going to jump this time. We know what's going to happen. Yeah. But uh, it was praised for the soundtrack, the atmosphere, and the scares. Here he is. Okay. And now the criticisms are the shorter than expected campaign and the repetitive gameplay. I don't think you can get me from up here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, now I'm running. Can you I better you better run, bitch. The door appears to be locked. Ha uh ha. -huh. But yeah, those um those creatures running around are Slender Man's proxies. Oh yeah. And that's what the girls that killed the other girl. I don't know I don't know if she died. It just says she was stabbed nineteen times, but she probably died Man, from I gotta go times. inside another house. Alright, I'm not turning around this time if that thing shuts. Tired of being a bitch on camera. Yeah. So uh, we have a little Slender Man story of ourselves. You know, we experience Slender Man at least once a week. Yeah, we do. Because Slender Man, we have the glorious service of Bright House Networks at our house. And Bright House likes to disconnect our internet. All Not disconnect it, but it kind of like fails all the time. And we just pretty much given it up to Slender Man. He just likes to fuck with Bright House. I'm not reading there you that. Go, man. I'm not reading that. All right, well, we'll, we'll sit here. If you want to pause the game and read it yourself, you can, you know. They could just pause the video if they want yeah. to. Yeah. 
Okay, I well, doubt they want to listen to me screw up more words. Here's another one. I don't know if that other one was supposed to go in front of this one, but <laughs> probably because it was in front of it. Well, there's that. So, um, if you do read as you see before, if you read all these things, they do add more backstory to the game. Whereas, like some clues don't add anything to certain games. Oh yeah. Yeah, like Silent Hill for one. If you read all the backstory, it adds to the game. You already know some idiot's gonna be in here. Are we back in the house? We're still in. The house. Oh shit, dude! What the fuck? Dude, you better get out of that house. You better not die again. It's fucking coming for your. Oh shit! Ah, I, I tried. You I tried suck closing at this the game. door. <sighs> dude, it fucking just raped your pussy. God, this game. This game is intense, dude. You suck at this game. Not to mention that you're... You like, jumped, too. I did not jump at that one. Yeah, I jumped whatever. at the Slender. I jumped at the Slender no, one. No, you jumped at both of those, too. Don't give me that. Everyone jumps at it. See, I did that because I wanted to get this. Wow, we, we didn't, didn't even, get... Th yeah, we didn't even find that. That's what I'm tonight. saying. That's why That's why I died. Because I figured I missed something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you already saw that one. Don't worry. When I go back and edit this, I think I'll turn the parts where the loud music is. I think I'll turn them up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then my my um, jumping like a bitch. It won't well, seem so bitchy. Yeah. Well, you know what's going to happen. I can't remember. It's going to happen. You better run. I'm glad I didn't look at that time. Fucking booking it. No. No. Left right here. What the fuck? Oh. Did you do that? No. The game did it. Man, that was that was crazy. You know, in the beginning, it wasn't scary really at all. You know, now we're back to where yeah, she was watching a VHS tape. Grab that one. You picked up the oddly labeled tape. That... Am I doing another one? Maybe. While Oakside housing prices are on the rise, many longtime residents are putting their homes up for sale in the hopes of gaining a substantial profit and relocating. Ew. Is that me? I don't know who this is. I think this might be your sister. Oh my god. Okay, I think it's just time to go now. Um, <laughs> Secure the house by closing all open windows and doors. Yeah, thank you guys for No, what? shut up and keep closing the doors. Why? You know <laughs> something's going to get me. Listen, people tune in for 20 minutes of awesomeness, and they still got another three. This is so bad right now. <laughs> yeah, that almost got me. That was a trash can on the floor. The door's not, it's not even open. Yes, it is? No, it's not. It's closed. Oh, my God. I really don't like this weird tunnel vision that they have for the yeah, light. Yeah, me either. You know why they do that? Uh, I think they want you to keep opening doors and windows. I really don't want to go in here. Go in there. Just hold on. Look out the window. No. Just do it. I want to look out the window. No, you want me to jump. There's nothing out there. Closing it. Now what? Slenderman. Are you out there, Slenderman? Check the toilet. He might be in the toilet. I just heard something. So did I. Check the toilet. Slender Man might be in the toilet. <laughs> what happened if he was in the toilet? Slender Man? No, he's not in there. He's not in there? Okay. Okay. Oh, God. I'm so nervous right now. Oh, you just know something bad. The, there's happen. no window open in this room. It's huh? The window's not open. It's not? You are blind as shit, dude. Yeah, I know. It's probably gonna be in this room, or painting? down the stairs. That's a painting, yeah, a really was... bad one, but it's still a painting. Oh, uh, yeah. There's so m I'll, really. Wait, look up. No, I don't want. What? I thought I saw water dripping. No, you didn't see no damn water dripping. Do you want to open these? 
No, I'm you're so scared right now. You know someone's gonna pop out one of these. So what makes the game? Oh, is that already shut? Yeah, all the windows in here are already shut. I already told really? you that. Really? Yes. Spawn Which means you were supposed to go downstairs instead of running around. And um, wait, look left. 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 Keep looking left. I think there's a door over there. Oh. But that window's shut. So. So what makes this game scary is it's not so much when you it. watch it, it's when you play it. So as for me, like it's still kind of scary and I did jump at that Slender Man thing, but you jump a lot more when you play the game. Because the first time my brother watched me play it, I was just playing the game and I thought it was way scarier. And he was like, this game isn't even scary. Is that someone not? That's an open door. Great. Fabulous. Yeah, they, they, they thought they got me. They didn't. These windows open? No. Oh, there he is. Where? Oh, shit. I didn't even see him. All right, that one didn't get me. Then. Am I supposed to keep <laughs> going back? Well, yeah, when Slender Man's near, you got to go away from him for the camera. He really reminds me of the guy from um, Saw. These ones open? Yeah, that one's open. That one's not. Why can you reopen it? Because maybe she wants a little extra air. Better close that back door. You're gonna let the slender in. Man. Man, this is getting bad. Where do you want me to go? To the end there. You better close those windows. Are these ones closed? Yeah. Nice. Oh shit, where is he? Hide in your room. Oh, shit! Well, unfortunately, peeps, we're out of time for today. So if you want to you you get scared yourself, you play Slender Man The Arrival. I give up. I know you do. You you were pretty good, though. You mean, Thanks, man. You were kind of scared a little bit. But yeah. That, I, w I would rate that game an 8.5 extreme. Okay, so out of Daylight, which is available on the PS4... Slender Man and Outlast. Which one is your favorite? My favorite? Mm, I don't know. Slender Man's pretty up there. Yeah, Slender Man's pretty good. I don't know what it is about it. Slender Man's pretty scary, too. I think Outlast might be the least scariest out of all of them. I thought Daylight was pretty scary. Really? I didn't think Daylight was scary at all. But anyway, I'm Nicky Vancho. I'm Steven Vancho. And if you liked watching this, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter, look out for more awesome episodes throughout the entire month of October. We're doing all horror games all month long. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. So it took us a while just to figure out where the fuck that chain was. No, we were, I just did my first try. Yeah, yeah. But um, this game, it was developed by Blue Isle Studios, as you've seen in the intro. Graphics are pretty good. I'm sorry to cut you off. Yeah, they kind of look like a PlayStation 2 game. I don't know. I think they look pretty good, but go on. Yeah, it was published by Midnight City just for the consoles, and it was published, I think, by Blue Isle. The generator is out of fuel. <laughs> Gotta go find some fuel, people. Um... This game is actually a sequel to Slender Man for Awesome. So we're going to be playing a little bit further into the game because we got to a part in the game where we just couldn't figure out what the hell to do. So we figured you guys could experience our frustration. Yeah, because that stuff's stupid. I hate I hate when um, you know, you're playing a game and you just can't find out where to go. Yeah. That happened a lot in Outlast. Yeah, but it, I don't think it was ever this bad. Yeah. Did you ever play Daylight? I think that's what that's what it was, or Dying Light, or something like no, that. No, Dying Light is the sequel oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. thing to Dead Island, but I'm talking about the PlayStation Network one. Yeah, yeah, we played it together. Yeah.
that one, whew, it was pretty, it, it was, it was fun. Warning, the following show contains strong language as well as heavily opinionated thoughts. If you're easily offended or cannot handle the opinions of others, you should close this video now. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of That Video Game Show. I'm Nick Ivancho. I'm Steven Ivancho. And today we're when you actually knew what to do. Yeah. I just got the chills. The date is September 19th. So a little backstory on what happened is our character, she's like watching a VHS tape right now and it's of a recording camera. So this is all like kind of, Didn't it already happened. I don't have a flashlight? No, you don't have a flashlight. Man. This is really hard to see. Very right, closer. Hope that doesn't bother you. <laughs> so we're going to be playing Slender The Arrival on the Xbox 360. Is this game scary? It's not as scary as Outlast, but it is pretty scary. Yeah, Outlast was pretty scary. Yeah, Outlast is pretty good. If you guys haven't played Outlast, you should play Outlast. It's really cool. All right, but enough about Out Outlast. We're going to play Slender. That almost scared me just then. It almost scared you? Yeah. You can you can skip this. Oh, you know. okay. So unlike previous recordings, we're actually doing this as we play the game. So if we mess up, we mess up. And yeah, it's going to be super.